Greetings and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at this interesting problem from the 2001 Putnam exam. It's the A5 problem that requires us to prove that there exist unique positive integers a and n such that a to the n plus 1 minus a plus 1 to the n equals 2001. Okay, cool. So a nice way to approach this problem would be to first analyze the number on the right hand side. So the first thing to note is 2001 is a multiple of 3. So we have 3 divides 2001. And another thing we can note about it is that 2001 equals 1 mod 4. So just a couple of really quick observations. And what can we derive from this observation? The right hand side is a multiple of 3. Now on the left hand side we have terms in a and a plus 1. So if a here is a multiple of 3, then a plus 1 is not going to be a multiple of 3, so their difference won't be a multiple of 3. So the only way to work around this problem is that a to the n plus 1 and a plus 1 to the n are both congruent to 1 mod 3. That way, their difference would be a multiple of 3. Now the condition on a to the n plus 1 implies that a itself is congruent to 1 mod 3. And from this information, as well as the constraint placed on a plus 1 to the n, we can uncover some information about the positive integer n. We see here that a plus 1 would be congruent to 2 mod 3. So we have 2 to the n, which we need congruent to 1 mod 3. And that works only in the case of n here equal to 2 times k, where k is, of course, a positive integer. So we're looking at even values of the integer n. And for even values, we have 2 to the 2k, which is, of course, 4 to the k, which is, of course, congruent to 1 mod 3. So we know now that the integer n is even. But we really could use some information about the about the prime factors of a as well. And that's not exactly very hard to uncover. Take note of the fact that this left-hand side of the equation has multiples of a, except for the last term in the binomial expansion for a plus one to the n. That last term is of course one. But we could get rid of that if I rewrite the equation like this, a plus one to the n equal to 2001 and I expand both sides by negative 1. By that token, I have a to the n plus 1 minus, no wait, I should rather, we have a plus 1 here, so I need to expand by a plus 1. Yeah, that works out. So we have a plus 1 to the n minus 1 equal to 2002. So this whole thing is a multiple of a. So the left-hand side is a multiple of a, the right-hand side is 2002. So we have a divides 2002, which has the following prime factorization. Just give me a minute, let me check my notes. Yeah, that's two times seven times 11 times 13. Okay, cool, but a could be even or a could be odd. If we could get rid of either one of those possibilities, our lives, would, our lives would be much, much easier. Recall that the first couple observations we made were in mod 3 and mod 4, which comes in really handy over here. Because n here is an even positive integer, so we know n plus 1 is going to be greater than or equal to 3. And we're assuming a here to be even, which means that this thing here is congruent to 0 mod 4. And by that token, a plus 1 to the n should be congruent to 1 mod 4, which means the entire left-hand side is congruent to negative 1 mod 4. But wait, 2001 is congruent to 1 mod 4, so we have a contradiction here, and we conclude that a cannot be even. That is, we have a here is an odd positive integer. And this leads to another deduction about the a variable or parameter, whatever, over here. Another deduction about the integer a, and that is, since 2001 is congruent to 1 mod 4, a should be congruent to 1 mod 4, because by that token, a plus 1 would be congruent to 0 mod 4. So we also have a here being congruent to 1 mod 4. So that's quite a bit of information about 
a here we know that it's congruent to 1 mod 3 we know it's congruent to 1 mod 4 and we also know it divides 2002 which has this really cool prime factorization and now we can begin to piece together information first up we know that a here is odd so we can remove the factor of 2 and we conclude that a here divides 1001 which is equal to 7 times 11 times 13 now, which one of these prime factors would fit the bill in terms of divisibility? We know that a here is congruent to 1 mod 3, so 7 works, and so does 13. 11 does not fit the bill. So a here divides 7 times 13, but we do know that a here is congruent to 1 mod 4. So in that case, 7 does not fit the bill, so A here divides 13. So we pretty much have only two choices for A. A could be equal to 1 or A could be equal to 13. So we finally have some concrete or at least pretty close to concrete guesses about the values of the positive integers A and N. We know that A divides 13, so A could be 1 or A could be 13, which is pretty cool narrows down our options quite a bit, but we know only about n that it is an even positive integer, which doesn't seem very encouraging. I mean, there are a lot of positive integers, if you know what I mean. But we can narrow it down. All it needs is some raw calculating power. So anyway, back to the a parameter. Let's check the case of a equal to 1. The equation was a to the n plus 1 minus a plus 1 to the n equals 2001. So if a equals 1, we have 1 to the n plus 1, which is 1, minus 1 plus 1, which is 2, last time I checked. And 1 minus 2 to the n cannot be equal to 2001, unfortunately. So that's one option thrown out of the window, which means the only right guess for a is a equal to 13. So we have 13 to the n plus 1 minus 14 to the n equal to 2001. And of course we know that n is even. So we'll take a wild guess and say that n here is equal to 2. So for the case of n equal to 2, we have 13 to the third power minus 14 squared, which equals, wait, let me check my notes, that's, 2197, terribly sorry about that, minus 196, which indeed equals 2001. So that means A equals 13 and N equals 2 are pretty solid guesses. Well, they're actually, they're not guesses, they're the integers that actually solve our equation. But the question now is, are they unique? Well, for the positive integer a, uniqueness has already been established thanks to the process of elimination. And for n, all we need is, like I said, some raw calculating power. So taking n greater than 2, we have 13 to the n plus 1 minus 14 to the n equal 2001. So it turns out that this thing here is congruent to 0 mod 8 whereas this thing here would be congruent to 13 mod 8, whereas the right-hand side is 2001, which is congruent to 1 mod 8. So that rules out the possibility of n being a positive even integer greater than 2. And finally, we prove that a equals 13 and n equals 2 is a unique pair of integers that solves our equation. I like this problem. It was quite fun to solve. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you next time.